All right, hey guys, back here again with another video. So uh, this would be a fairly small out and about. I'm currently going to one of my coworkers' place. Um, apparently he is trying to clear up some room in his uh, apartment, and um, there was some video game stuff that he didn't want to have anymore. Uh, so how how it went over? Um, he knows that I'm a huge gamer, and um, I showed him like my video game room, and um, he did had some stuff that he's trying to like throw away. And uh, I was able to uh, get pretty much all the games that he had that he didn't want to play. Uh, he's mostly a PC gamer, so he wanted to uh, clear up some space uh, around his apartment because he's currently not playing it and he's not able to store it. So really excited to head over there. Um, I might do a small vlog going out, but uh, this will be a fairly you know, a point A to point B situation. Um, I paid him some money. Uh, at first, he didn't want to uh, like take any cash just because uh, he was he wanted to clear it out. And if no one didn't want it, he was going to throw it away. But there's quite a bit of stuff that he had. Um, I told him like the prices and stuff, but he didn't really care. But uh, yeah, so enough of me rambling. Uh, we're gonna head over fairly quickly, and um, I'll see I'll see you guys and show you guys what I picked up uh, from him. So. All right, so I just finished uh, doing the transaction with my coworker. So we did, um, we loaded up the stuff in my trunk already and I'm about to head home. Uh, really excited. Uh, he said that he added quite a bit of stuff as well, some extras. So um, can't wait to see what he added. Um, he had everything in box, so uh, everything was like organized. So I was able to fit everything in my truck and, not my truck, in, in my trunk of my car, sorry. I'm just really excited. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna head home and I'll show you the stuff that I got. All right, so I just made it home safely, and these are the boxes uh, that have the consoles and the games. So I'm gonna carry these up to my kitchen, and we'll probably do a proper unboxing there. So let me set up, and I'll be there in a couple minutes. Just got back. These are one of the three boxes, and there is one big box. So, got this, this, and this. Try, try to make some room. I'm gonna grab the big box real quick. So, let's see what they have. So let me see if I can angle it right over here. I think you guys could see it. I'm gonna get my knife. Let's put this box, the big box down and start with the small boxes. So, Check the camera one more time. Okay. All right, so really excited. Let's see what we have in the first box. Also remember to cut away from yourself. All right, I think these are all Xbox 360 games. So we have Batman Arkham City, Star Wars Connect, Halo 3, Medal of Honor, 
Warfighter Limited Edition. Uh, next game here is Marvel Forces Capcom 3, Resident Evil 6, Halo ODST, Saints Row the Third, FIFA Soccer 13, and Rise of Nightmare. Um, I haven't checked the discs, so let's check to see some of the discs like Saints Row. Okay, just a little bit dusty, but I think these will actually play. The main disc here. Yeah, just like a little bit like fingerprints and stuff, but it doesn't look like they're like scratched. Let's see, we got Resident Evil 6. Yeah, so pretty much uh, the disc itself um, doesn't look that bad. So we'll put this to the side. So um, he didn't really want to like get rid, like he wanted to get rid of all this stuff uh, just because it was um, adding a lot of room into his space. So he wanted to get rid of it. So I told him that I was interested in his game collection if, if he was. So I was able to get uh, this whole lot Connect uh, Adventures. So in general, I don't think I re um, already mentioned the price. Um, I paid a hundred bucks uh, pretty much for everything. So I think it was a good deal. Um, Star Wars Force Unleash, Dragon Age Inquisition, um, Enemy Front, Assassin's Creed 3, and also Black Flag, uh, Sims 3, Halo 4, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD uh, Collection. Actually, I might play this game later. I do have it for the PS2, but I actually don't have this into my collection. So, these are all the Xbox, I think all the Xbox 360 games. So, let's check this box over here. I think I could be mistaken. I think there's more Xbox 360. Let me check here and open this one up. Again, always cut away from yourself. Okay, let's see. Oh, still. Okay. Xbox. So next one here, I think more Xbox 360. Um, we got here Tomb Raider. We got like this mystery case over here. Uh, Dragon Age Origins and Dead Island. Uh, Dead Island Riptide Special Edition. There's a lot of games in here that I don't have in my collection, so this is actually a big plus just to add them into my overall game collection. Uh, the Walking Dead, uh, I think this is the Game of the Year edition, which has like, I think all the episodes, I think. Uh, this one, I'm um, surprised, like this, I think this game is fairly rare uh, for, the, for like an Xbox 360 game. Uh, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I think, yep. I think this is like a $40, $50 game. Uh, Call of Duty World at War. Diablo 3. Um, Hitman Absolution. Uh, Kings of Amalur The Reckoning. Medal of Honor Limited Edition. So again, as I said before, uh, there's a lot of games here that I don't have. Uh, my Xbox 360 is actually my smallest collection, so this will actually boost up my my uh, 360 library, basically. So really happy about that. All right, so I'm gonna put these to the side and open this 
blocks right here. Put this All right, so next box. Oh, okay, so this is the X, uh, sorry, not Xbox. Uh, this is Nintendo 64 or Nintendo stuff. So this is was uh, this was actually the main thing that I wanted to get, but uh, he mentioned that he had other games and consoles, so um, he took a picture and I was like, yeah, I'll I'll grab it if he stop playing it. So uh, we got some Nintendo 64 controllers. These are kind of in bad shape regarding to the analog sticks, but I do have extras. I think out of the three. These two kind of have some good sticks. This one is kind of done. So I guess this was like his child, uh, his childhood 64 when he grew up. So uh, we have a rumble pack. I would probably have to clean this, um, but it's not a big deal. The original or the, I guess the jumper pack. I think the expansion pack is in there. Uh, we got the cables and the cord. And now for the games. So the condition is fairly acceptable regarding to like, you know, how old it is. And I played this a lot. Oh, this is the 64 over here. Let me see if I can open it up to see. Yep, so the jumper pack is in here. Uh, he said that he never, like, he just had this in storage for a while. Uh, never touched it or played it. But um, this is well loved, as you can see with the... Uh, the stickers and like the tape so I will thoroughly clean this once I uh, get everything situated but first game here is Star Fox 64 uh, Pokemon Stadium Mario Party 3 this one um, I'm really happy that um, this is actually in really good condition we got Paper Mario uh, WCW NWO Revenge. I think this is Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Uh, we have Mario Kart 64. It's fairly. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, we got Zelda uh, Majora's Mask. Not too sure what happened here, but this is like all taped. Hopefully, it'll play. Uh, we have Yoshi's Story, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Donkey Kong 64. So a lot of cosmetic damages uh, with the majority of the games, but just looking at the pins, I don't see anything that's like cracked or anything, just the overall case itself. So I'm going to thoroughly clean these up uh, sometime soon and test these games. And yeah, see if they're actually working or not. I'm most definitely gonna check the 64 just to see if this is working as well. But again, um, I paid like a hundred bucks for everything. And I think that's actually a fairly good deal with the amount of stuff that I got um, out, of the, um, out of the overall transaction, basically. So I'm gonna put this back. So last box, uh, this is one of the biggest boxes. Um, there's also another, I think there's like two consoles in this thing right here. Just let me check the camera real quick just to see if it's still recording. Okay, we are good. So we got this big box over here. We're gonna open this up just to see what's in there, which I do know, uh, but you know, actually seeing it, all right, so, okay, so we have PlayStation, PS2, and game, there's like a GameCube in here. That's really cool. So let me 
rearrange this. Let me put this knife away so I don't stab myself. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we have One Piece Grand Adventure, Metal Slug Anthology, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, The Sims Busting Out, oh, an Xbox game. Uh, this is the original Spider-Man. I'm not too sure if this game goes for a lot, but I, I noticed with like 360, Xbox 360 Spider-Man games, they go for quite a bit. Oh, we got the first one for the Xbox. Uh, we have Scarface, The World is Yours. Uh, this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles uh, 2 and Naruto Ultimate Ninja oh, but they're different uh, 2 uh, Smackdown vs. Raw Destroy All Humans 2 oh, we got some RPG here uh, we have an RPG game uh, we have Dark Cloud 2 The Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man, but this is for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants the Movie, this is the greatest hits. Then we have Pac-Man World 2. For the PS2, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw. Another copy of Spider Man. He must really like Spider Man. I think this is like a. Let's see. This, I know that there's a second copy somewhere. Oh. Okay, I guess that this is for the Xbox and for the PlayStation. But there's also. I thought this was the same game, but they're actually total, uh, totally different. I was looking at this one and this, but we have um, the official game or X Men the official game. So uh, we we still have quite a bit more. Uh, we have Crash uh, the Super Pack, which has uh, Crash Nitro Kart and Crash Wrath of Cortex. Uh, empty case. This is just an empty case. Uh, 007, every, everything or nothing. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Az Azkaban. Uh, WWF Raw. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. I actually do have, I think, all of the Naruto games for the PS2, but overall, really fun fighting game. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gun Club. And some like GameCube games, or actually last PS2 game. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, the limited edition. It's really cool. It has like a slipcover. And we got some GameCube games, only just two. So we have The Sims 2. And a really nice copy. Oh, there's like Super Smash Bros. Melee. And there's like a second game here, which is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. So really cool to actually have um, like an extra coffee, I guess. Probably trade it in. Uh, there's also, let me see. There's actually some GameCube, not GameCube, Game Boy Advance games here, actually. Let me see if I can pull all them out. All right, let me check if there's any more. So 
these are the Game Boy Advance games. Let me grab this. And SP or DS? Okay. So we have like a mystery game. Not too sure what that is. Uh, Children of Mana or Mana. Uh, dogs. Uh, Midnight Club. And these are fairly, I guess they're fairly pricey. I'm not too sure. I haven't checked the prices. Uh, we have Classic NES Series Super Mario Bros. And Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. So that's it for the games. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, actually there's another mystery game here. Not too sure what that is. So we'll, we'll test it out later. Now we have a original GameCube memory card and a original PlayStation 2 memory card as well. Uh, we have a silver GameCube. Let's see if there's like any games in here. Nope. Oh, wow. There's like a bug here. <laughs> as you can see, I'm not too sure you can see that. So I'm going to have to wipe my counter as well. Uh, there's a Waybird. Actually, I don't think it had, came with the adapter with it, but it's really cool. We have a Waybird. Uh, just some controllers, but these look pretty bad, pretty rough actually. As you can see here. And same thing with the PS2 controllers. Actually, this one's pretty good. But again, I gotta have to wash my hands. But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff there. Uh, I have like an original Xbox as well. So, let me see if there's like anything that I missed. If not, then I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I've um, acquired uh, from this trade. Uh, gonna clear everything up and uh, test these out to see these work and uh, sit through with the stuff that I don't have from my collection and go through there and yeah that's a lot of stuff but anyways uh, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you guys later all right bye